What's at stake for me this year is um, definitely the question of my leadership because, you know, Wes, Rail, Neek, they're all gone. Zara's gone, so it really makes me nervous because I got really big shoes to fill. One thing that gets me more than anything is, you know, can I be half the leader if they were because they took everything. The losses, they took it all. All the bad talk, you know, some of the good talk, it was always on the seniors, it was always on the leaders, the so-called best players, and I think they handled all that with maturity. I, I don't ever think they let anything get to their head, and I think, I think that's why they're all successful in the position that they're in. I'm definitely that guy that has to, you know, um, has to get used to having more weight on his shoulders than what he's used to, and um, I'm ready to see how I handle it. You know, I, I, have, I have it in my head how I'm going to handle it, but I haven't experienced it yet, so I can only stay positive. Me being that I'm a senior, try to lead, his, uh, lead by his up every day, help the other guys come along. The young guys, regardless of you know how good they're doing or if they don't like you or if they do like you, you know they're gonna look up to you because they haven't been through this before, and I have, and the seniors have, Jimmy has, Dwight has, Rob has, you know, DJ has. You gotta come to practice with the mentality that you're gonna work hard, you you gonna become one percent better, as Coach Buzz say. And you know, it's not it's nothing easy, you know, you have to work for any for everything. Some of the toughest things I've had to overcome was my first year here and being the guy that Buzz always picked on. I can joke around about it now, but at the time I, I was constantly mad at him. He didn't hold the grudge, but I did because I didn't know any better. I was young. I didn't know that he was trying to get me better. I thought he was picking on me because I wasn't as good as the other players. He don't really care like about your background, like as far as your name and what you did with basketball. He just he just wants somebody that's just tough and just going just going to get out there every day, every day and be willing to get the best um, out of yourself every day. The things that he teaches us, it just molds us, you know, and it completes us that much more as men because that's really what he's doing. He's turning boys into men. He saw something in me that he could get out, and when he got that out, I'd be, you know, a good player, a good person, a good teammate, eventually a good leader. And I, I, I really would like to thank him for that because if it wasn't for him coming at me every day for every little thing, even when it wasn't my fault, he just turned and yelled at me, get in my face, I wouldn't be the person I am today. The more effort you put in knowing how to work, knowing how to become a man, knowing how to learn stuff a little bit quicker than others, it's going to help you, you know, for, for that job, for whatever job you're doing in life. And I think that's the most that I have learned from Coach. And that's what he's teaching us now. You know, you got to work hard at whatever you do. That's the basic thing that you're going to have to have every day. Hard work coming in here when you don't want to be here. You know, when you got a little bug in your system, you got to fight through it. You got to be tough. The more we become a better team and we can get wins, it's going to help everybody out in the long run. So it's, it's a lot of work and it's a lot at stake, a, a lot of things people don't want to do, you know. But I think you have to do it because that's the only way it's going to help you. It's all about who comes out, competes every day, who's a great teammate, who's going to go out there and lay everything on the line, not for them, but for the guys that's out there with them. I'll do anything for this team. I mean, you name it, blood, sweat, tears, I'm going to put it in. You know, I, I never let anyone disrespect uh, my team because this is like my family. So I won't, really won't even say, t really we won't even say team, you know. I wouldn't let anybody come in and disrespect my family. I want to be a leader. That, that carries the team, but I want to be a leader that shows them the right way to do things, you know, because that's, that's who Buzz is to me. So he's teaching me the right things to do, and he's expecting me to teach the young guys the right things to do. So I want to live up to his expectations. I want to live up to my expectations. I want to live up to the fans' expectations and doing everything that they would like me to do and accomplish everything that they would like me to accomplish.